Our top story this morning, new overnight, a deadly shooting after a concealed carry license holder opens fire on someone opening fire on him. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rulin' about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Yo, what's good, man? This your boy Smoke Tales. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you got it on you because I got it on me. You know how we getting down on this end. A Brooklyn subway rider was disarmed before being shot by his own gun. A 36-year-old man is in critical condition after an altercation turned violent on a Brooklyn subway car as he became a victim of his own gun. The violence transpired after a 32-year-old man who just entered a northbound train in Brooklyn was quickly approached by a 36-year-old man who was already on the train. Witnesses described the 36-year-old as an aggressive and provocative towards the new passenger. New York Police Department Chief of Transit Michael Kemper said words quickly devolved into violence. Eventually, the older man's gun was taken by the younger man, resulting in the 32-year-old shooting at the 36-year-old multiple times, striking him, including in the head, police said. The 36-year-old was shot twice in the right side of his face and once in the neck and once in the chest. Police stationed at the platform heard gunshots and responded. Other passengers in the car went unharmed. You know, I remember when I first went to New York, I'd been there one time, I had always wanted to go. I had loved that city. That's before I started carrying it, see it. And uh, I loved that city, man. I was like, I like this city. But they didn't turn New York into a shithole. All these immigrants, all this crime, and they don't want to let you get a gun license. Shit me. We have some new developments now in the shocking subway shooting in downtown Brooklyn. The man who shot another man after taking his gun will not be facing charges in this case. News 4's Andrew Siff, live in downtown Brooklyn. Andrew. A lot to sort out here, Natalie, and it's hard to believe it's just 24 hours since this incident unfolded behind me at a very busy Brooklyn subway station right in the middle of rush hour. City and transit officials today trying to reassure riders that the subways are safe. Surveillance video shows the man entering through an exit gate, suspected of bringing a gun and a knife into the subway. Minutes later, police say the armed 36-year-old man is menacing an unarmed 32-year-old passenger who had been minding his own business. But when the aggressor approached, the younger man wrestles the gun away and fires four times, hitting the older man in the head. Ultimately, he's disarmed and shot with his own gun. The man who fired, seen here on the stairs and moments later taken into custody. The Brooklyn DA said he was only protecting himself and other passengers. At this stage, evidence of self-defense precludes us from filing any criminal charges against the shooter. It was wild, like seeing the video, it was terrifying. Riders today returning to their commute at the busy Hoyt Skimmerhorn Station. Some saying the incident highlights the need for the bag checks that resumed last week, enhanced by the National Guard. You can't check every, everybody's bag, but you might get lucky and catch, you know, the right one. Adding to the urgency today, police looking for a woman who may have stabbed the alleged instigator as part of the melee. We weren't able to prevent the act, but the officers were there immediately and made the apprehension. All of it unfolding one week after a surge of police as the city tries to tamp down national headlines about incidents in the transit system and project an image of safety. Subway crime is 2% of crime in New York, and yet because everybody uses the subway, it has a disproportionate impact on people's sense of safety. The feeling of, I could have been there, is what everybody is feeling today. And Governor Hochul, who has ultimate authority over the MTA, convened a special meeting of a subway security task force at her Manhattan office today. She confirmed a $20 million allocation for special scout teams. Their job is to go up to the mentally ill in subways and try to get them help. We're live in Brooklyn. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. 
Yeah, man. So you see how they getting down out there in New York and Brooklyn. The subway, wild as hell. When I went there, it was nice, though. I got on there. It was summertime. I got on there. It was all good. I was thinking about moving to that city. That's before I started carrying the weapon. Now that I carry, ah, nah, nah, I can't do it. And then they don't want to, never want to give you a gun license in New York. But it's, it's always dangerous over there, right? Like, they, they acting like if they don't, because they don't issue people uh, concealed permits, carry permits, that it makes shit safer. It actually makes shit more dangerous. Pull out a gun, got his gun took from him, and got the shit shot out of him. And now he in critical condition. This dumbass dude around here pulling out guns on bitches on the subway train and almost rode that bitch straight to hell. Man, this your boy Smoke Tails, man. Until next time, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, 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 you never catch me without mine.